let's do some chemistry. In particular, I'd like to take a look at how you determine the number of sig figs for a particular measurement. We're going to take a look at the easiest significant figure rule there is, which simply states that non-zero digits are always significant. So any number in a measurement that's not zero is always going to count towards your total number of significant figures for that particular measurement. For example, in letter A, I have 53.5 centimeters. Since 5, 3, and 5 are not zero, they're all significant. So I have a total of 3 sig figs here. In letter B, I have 75 milliliters. So I have a total of two significant figures with that measurement. In letter C, I have 328 milligrams. So now I've got three sig figs once again. In letter D, I've got two kilometers, which means I've got just one significant figure. In letter E, I've got 1,128 microliters, which gives me a total of four significant figures. And finally, in letter F, I've got 8.2955 grams, which gives me a total of one, two, three, four, five sig figs. I hope this helps. Continue to follow along for more chemistry content.